Hi, I'm Layla. Hi, I'm Sam. And today we're making hot cocoa bombs. Marshmallows, chocolate, powdered chocolate, <laughs> classic Swiss Miss. You can use either of them, fancy or not fancy. A silicone mold, and then if you're making a Mexican hot cocoa, ground cinnamon, and cayenne. So these are the decorations <laughs> for the cocoa bombs. Um, we got sprinkles, awesome. This is peppermint, uh, little topping things. They're also kind of like sprinkles, uh, just in case you want, you know, peppermint in your, uh, your cocoa bomb. White chocolate, brown cinnamon, and it's gonna be awesome. And maybe if you really wanted to, you could put marshmallows on the outside too. All right, so the first thing we had to do when making the hot cocoa bombs is temper the chocolate. So we put the stove top on low heat and made a water bath, which is just filling a pot with water, and then put another pot filled with chocolate chips uh, in it and stirred it until it melted. Then Layla spread a spoonful of the tempered chocolate in the mold uh, and filled it to its edge. And then we took them outside so they could chill and harden. Hi. So what we're gonna do is take a spoonful of our tempered chocolate and put it back into the cooled chocolate we've already done and do the same, this thing, this motion. Are you getting this? Yeah. Okay, this motion. We're good. So we need to do two layers because otherwise the cocoa mix on the inside will spill out. Okay, so once we're done, we're gonna put it back outside to cool again. We were doing that the whole time. That's. I burnt the white chocolate. So right now I'm working on maybe mixing in milk, and I'm hoping that'll get like the right uh, texture. Okay. But what I'm going to show you guys is how to get these out of the mold now that we're done. So you're going to stretch it like this, and from there you can flip it over. Oops. And get the mold off. Okay, now that we've taken them out of the molds, it is finally time to bring hot cocoa into this. So, we have our freshly taken out of the mold, and you need to be careful um, not to touch it too much because the chocolate starts to melt from the heat of your fingers. And so you're gonna take your hot cocoa mix. I'm using the regular Swiss mix. Swiss miss. <laughs> Doing the fancy hands. <laughs> All right, my whole goal is to make a better hot cocoa bomb than Layla, so I'm just gonna put more hot cocoa powder in Layla. Uh, and then we got cinnamon. I don't know how much. And then cayenne. Ooh. And then we're gonna put marshmallows. It's gonna be fantastic. So this is hey. the gooey edge. Take your hot cocoa bomb and it should seal. And any imperfections we have, like this hole right here, we're gonna just take some of the melted chocolate and seal it off with a knife. So I will be putting candy canes, candy cane theme. Here. Do you like to do this? Sure. Okay, that didn't work as I thought it would. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, it's melting. Yes. Here are my candy cane bits. 
climb the hills of Italy. Hey, jingity jing. Yep. Of the sprinkles stayed on. Jingle bells around his feet and presents on the sled. Hey, look at the maze there be on top of Dominic. That's good. Now Peter comes out. Shoes for Louie and the dress for Josephine. The label on the inside says they're made in Brooklyn. Hey, jingity jing. It's Dominic the donkey. Jingity jing. The Italian Christmas donkey. La 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 la. Sing and clap their hands and Dominic starts to dance. They talk Italian to him and he even understands. Kumaras and Kumbaras do they dance a darandel. When San Domingola comes to town and brings Ujuchadil. Hey, jingity jing. 